If you are receiving this message, it means you've found us at last. You've come, and with you comes the next great step in the evolution of humanity. We have been preparing for your arrival for years, perhaps centuries. We have been patient. We know you have much to teach us. Really? If you can hear my voice, whoever hell? you are, welcome home. It just repeats after that. Who was that? The head of the station, presumably. More like a cult. Long gone. Whoever he was, he's long gone now. Generations ago, millions of Earthers tried to set up mining stations in the belt. Some of them lasted. Some died off right away. And some of them, no one knows. Still, a station this large, uncharted and seemingly uninhabited? It's like nothing I've heard of. What did the initial scans tell us? None of the scanners penetrate past the first level. But there are no heat signatures, no activity, except this broadcast. Looks clear. But who brought the core here? Maybe. But we don't know who stashed it here. Or who else they might have told about it. Not to mention, how the fuck are we gonna find it in there? The place is massive. There was a line in the coordinates. Something about... The first ones. Fuck does that mean? Well, no, till we get inside. Arlen, Rayan, stay on the ship. Be ready to burn hard if there's any activity on the radar. Jordan, boss man. Good hunting. Maya and I will head inside and search around. She's being nice to me. Exactly how old is this place? Too old to be on any maps. Maybe a hundred years? Damn. This is fucking strange. Sort of symbol. Let's search for the command center. Found it. Over here. <sighs> okay, so we gotta investigate this creepy place. I've never seen helmets this old. Crazy that people used to wear these into the vacuum. Wow. And these are gonna be the first Earthers? It came to the belt or something? An entire station, completely abandoned. I can't even imagine what could have happened here. Maybe we'll find out. As long as it's on the way to finding the MK core. The station is ancient, but the nav beacon is new tech. <gasps> new? So why is that here? 
And where did my girlfriend go? <laughs> what the fuck? She just ran off. Mission log. Environmental systems. The emergency power is working. Whatever went wrong here, it wasn't due to a lack of resources. Everything appears functional, if ancient. Even stranger, the station's three sectors were powered down at different times, with the bottom sector shut down years before the other two. Why would anyone purposely put so much of their station in the vacuum? Why indeed? Oh, hello. The ops power is on these breakers. The sector is now powered. There are three total. Each should have its own control room like this. Three sectors. I'll go ahead to find the control centers in each one. You keep scanning the servers for any leads. Fine. Mm -hmm. Have the fun to yourself. I'll call you once I power up the next sector. Hmm. You, <laughs> she wants to come with me. Calm down. About last night. Yeah, cop. Tell us about last night. <laughs> Which one of you made all those noises? <laughs> Sounded like a coyo stuck on a... Ah, Falata! Get off this channel! Rain will remember that. <laughs> private channel from here on out, okay? I got it. And maybe we just focus on the mission for now. You got it, Boss Meng. Oh, she's a little bit butter. The idea of exploring this whole station doesn't appeal to me. Like but whoever said riches came easy. One. One. Oh, they both say one. Is that where it came from? What the? Yeah. It's a corpse. There's a dead body here. He seems almost posed. That's weird. Do you think it's related to the core? Don't know. I'll keep searching around. Crazy. The last one? Huh. What I does leave, this mean? I leave this message having surrendered this sector to the vacuum to preserve my body for what comes next. Trust Dalton. Trust the signal. We will live again. The last one. So he okay. did... This group called itself the Cassiopeia Collective. Landed here in 2226. They were an unlicensed settler community from Earth. What happened to them? No clue. Nothing good by the looks of it. Tutorial. Connect the junction Cox boxes. Cox was right. We're about to hit the greatest score a scavenger has ever come across. That's what he said. So, what do you plan to do with it? The money, I mean. I'll head back to Ceres. You want to go back to the station where there's a bounty on your head? With this money, I can make the bounty disappear. How? Okay. Oh, it's By a going puzzle. to war with Dawes? down by making him irrelevant we'll connect the left i'm going to build an opa that actually helps belters oh really <laughs> is that supposed to be different i thought it was gonna maybe open something new Hey, it's alright. I went the wrong way. Oh. 
Low torch. Eh. Yeah. What we got here? Salvage. So, uh, what salvage? Did I? I don't know. Just salvage. Anything else here? Oh, it opens. It kind of has a horror aspect to it. Whoa. Drummer? They like mummified themselves. Dead bodies. Many of them. Are they going to come to life? <laughs> I'll head to the power. Then we can investigate it together. Now you want to include me? Fantastic. Oh, jeez. What? So what about you? Leave what are you behind. going to do with your share? I... I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Pelota, you must have some idea. You could pick a station to settle in. Set up shop as an engineer. I could. I'd miss flying around though. Maybe I'll buy the Artemis off Khan. You can call me captain for a change. <laughs> ah, this ship has had enough mutinies already. They're flirting a little bit. Oh. Oh. Next life goals. Strange lesson for children. Or anyone. That is weird. Your next life goal. See my brother. See my mommy. Try swimming. Thank the aliens. <laughs> Ride a spaceship. Become secretary general. Okay, so they taught kids here. Weird bodies in the vacuum don't decompose guess that was the lesson oh really they don't i guess that makes sense so that body we just saw it's gonna be like fully intact another classroom three dead people and i looking at something and then Aliens? Ooh. What's that noise? Weird music. I'm not familiar with the Dalton principle. Something tells me it's not exactly accepted science. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is estimated to be 87,000 light years in di diameter, about 100 billion planets, 300 million have the properties for life. This is known as the Goldilocks Zone. According to the Fermi Paradox, intelligent life must have developed in our galaxy. Without bacteria or oxygen exposure, human bodies can remain free from decomposition. I don't know why it's hard to say. Indefinitely. Due to Moore's law, we can predict that medical technology will grow more efficient every year. This makes the potential for advanced alien civilizations or future human civilizations limitless. Taken all together, the Dalton Principle states that the resurrection of infected corpses in stasis by an advanced civilization, human or alien, is a question of when, not if. That actually makes sense. So that's... So they're basically waiting for someone else to... Bring them back. No, die, die, die. <laughs> we saw that already. Okay. Coffin schematic. These aren't just coffins. They're designed to keep corpses in stasis virtually forever. 
Oh. So they're doing pretty good in there. Chopping. Looks like they were pulling walls off the station to fashion these caskets. Big Pagal. All of this planning and effort just to prepare for their own deaths. Well, I think it's actually preparing for their own resurrection in the future. It's basically time travel. Pittons. This feels like grave robbing. Even more so than usual. I know. But just think of the historical value. These were some of the first people to try and survive out here. Does historical value pay well? Beats me. Computer. New mission log. Outgoing messages. A request for aid. Emergency aid. Urgent request from Earth settlement. Request for emergency aid. Multiple deaths. Thank you for contacting UNN. Emergency relief aid. For the love of God, save us. Wait, so they asked for help? The station began as a mining operation. Difficult work with low profit margins at the best times. By the time people started dying of disease, the collective was likely stranded with little money and no way to mine enough resources as their population got sicker. No wonder this group set their sights on other means of escape. Oh, okay. So their life got really difficult and bleak. So they kind of just plan to live again in the future. I see. Reading this message. You'd hardly know they'd given up on surviving and are putting all their hope in. Aliens? Aliens? By unanimous vote, the Cassiopeia Collective had decided to decommission all biomass recyclers and break them apart for materials. We thank all collectivists who participated in the hearing and look forward to a brighter future ahead. So the recyclers, biomass recyclers, I think creates their food. So they're getting rid of food. We've entered phase three of the realignment plan laid out in last month's collectivist assembly. All regular mining operations have been suspended. Mining employees, please report to your post at regular call to be reassigned. Management will communicate new plans for breaking down and repurposing construction materials. Once a suitable amount of material has been collected, we will commence phase four to begin construction of a stasis coffins. Signs have been posted. So they all basically agreed. There's coffins of people everywhere. Just hanging around. Oh. Salvage. I love nondescript salvage. Power on. You were kidding. Oh, she got her like a crypt. I thought filters recycled their dead. We do. We don't get to be sentimental. We use every ounce of every resource we have. It's how we survive. So what do you think happened here? Not desperate. Maybe the people here were abandoned and got desperate. They could have thought they needed the bodies for something. Could be. There's no sign of the core yet. I'll check the server here. Keep me posted on any more excitement you find. Any more excitement I find.
Should I talk to her again? Okay. So now that we know that this channel is definitely private. Mm -hmm. You can finally tell me that last night was amazing and you'll never be the same again. I'm flattered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Grateful to have company in here. Is this where I came from? I don't remember. Yes. In we go. Medical records. Huh? Time, Moffat, 22 weeks. Mori, Abdu, 7 weeks. Weird. What does that mean? I'd never let this happen to me. I've got my recycler all picked out. Huh. All these porcelain wallas staring at the abyss for eternity. I submit this recording alongside the station's medical records for future study. Though I take less faith than Dalton and foreign visitors, I have hope our tragedy will prove instructive to the burgeoning field of extraterrestrial immunology. <coughs> the pandemic which decimated this station began as a standard mycobacterium tuberculosis infection. <coughs> I contend it was our antibiotic air filters which provoked the initial evolutionary surge. But... <coughs> it was the children born to this station whose stunted immune systems provided the fatal breeding grounds. Oh, no, really? I did all I could. Your children killed you. In truth, we all did. But we had no chance. Damn. Unfortunate circumstance. Circumstances? Looks like the medic was well liked. Oh, he's they they put him in his area. The medic got all these decorations around him. The hands of the king are the hands of a healer, and so shall the rightful king be known. In loving memory of Doctor Armin Jahani. Now that you are lost, we all are. Oof. So he died before everyone else did, I guess. So you're heading back to Ceres and leaving the Artemis without a captain? I suppose that's true. Damn. If I knew last night was a one-off, I would have gotten even less sleep. I will. Miss you too. Aww. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least call me a Wellwalla or tell me how you can kick my Martian ass. I will miss kicking your ass, Wellwalla. Thank you. These must be from whoever planted the MK core. We're close. Oh, the beds are on the walls. That's cool. MK core. What are one of those symbols? They're all over the place. They were taking supplements to combat living in microgravity. Wonder if it's the same stuff we take. I doubt it. The only reason we survive now is because of what we learn from settlements like this. Anything up top? Oh. oh, it's more of a puzzle now. Okay, does that connect anything? No. So we go the other way. Oh, I thought left was the other way. Ah, uh, okay, it's not going where I want. Oh, wait, is this correct? Oh, did I, I think I accidentally did it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. 
right up or right up what do you mean up okay, that one's a dead end but the other one's not that's not what I wanted Lucky? Mm -hmm. Wait, did this just open? Yeah. No resources, right? Well, this looks like someone they really, really worshipped or cared about. Oh, it's a monument. You seeing this? Sure am. How has all of this just been sitting here? Their stories were abandoned, just like they were. What gets me is that there was no OPA back then. There wasn't even the word Belter. But as soon as they got out here, somehow their lives didn't matter anymore. Huh. Well, if that's how you feel, welcome to the OPA. I'm serious. I'm serious too. The OPA isn't just for dark orphans on series. It's for anyone who wants to fight for a free belt. At least that's what it should be. Looks different from the coffins in the upper sectors. Maybe they built it in the early days, before they ran out of supplies. Another nav beacon. We must be getting close to the core. Got to be all more more stuff around. Yes. Got some mining charges here. Looks disarmed. Wait. How much do they look disarmed? <laughs> disarmed enough. You clearly haven't handled many explosives. Guilty as charged. Okay, there's that way behind I can go. I'm just checking for anything else. Control? Oh, I can't touch that. this way sector control three power hey with all this alone time you've given me I've been thinking about something whatever this treasure is the one thing we know is that it will change everything. No more scavenging, no more running. That's the hope. The thing is, I think if I had all the money in the world to do anything I wanted, it would be doing this with you. Hmm. Okay, not this exactly, but working with you to help build a better future for the belt. I want to be a part of it, if you'll have me. I mean, are you sure? I'd be lucky. Are you sure you understand what that means? 
The moment you raid the OPA, that makes you a terrorist and a traitor to Mars. There's no going back. Good. I'm done looking back. I want to be a part of something that matters. And I want to be with the only person who's ever made me feel like I matter too. Hmm. With so many coffins. There's like an army. Holy shit, this is beautiful. It's mm -hmm. horrifying. It would be beautiful if it wasn't filled with dead belters. That shape at the bottom. I recognize it from the coordinates. That's promising. Let me check the server for this sector, then I'll meet you down there. Going in. It's getting weird. Okay, here's something. The sector's thermo scanner reports biometric presence. There must have been someone here. Oh, did I just get shot? They're still here. Coming down. No, stay back. Try to get eyes. Where? My name is Kamina Drummer. I don't know who you are, but... I know who you are. You're the pirate JP sent to take me out. Lousy in your scum. But you'll never find that sample! Maya! I see him. He has you pinned down. I'll try to direct you from up here. Okay, he's coming up on the left! Ah! What's he aiming? Right, 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 left. Okay, he's flanking around to your left! You got him, but I don't think he's down. I've... I lost visual. Maya! Wait! He's charging! You're left, now! Oh. She almost slipped, but I had Wrist to terminal stop broken. It. And he was running low on oxygen. The hypoxia must have made him disoriented. He seemed to confuse you for someone else. JP? Hmm. This wrist terminal is too busted to search. There's a hand terminal over there. Must be his. His oxygen was so low, I don't think he even knew who he was shooting at. I know he just tried to kill you, but... Poor guy. There's a message on here. You stole something from me. Luckily for you, my desire to see it returned is greater than my desire for revenge. This will be your only chance. Say I was open to it. My partner has other ideas. We know. She's already contacted the UN and their Shinabi. Luckily, some pirates got to them first. Mm. Pirates? Are they? Don't okay. worry about them. Just send me your location and hold tight. However you deal with your partner, my men will clean it up. <laughs> this is why I love Earthers. So this man stole the MK Corps. Brought it out here with his partner. His partner? 
who must be around here somewhere. Maybe they have the core. Matrix, I dug up my old grad school notes. According to an epidemiology professor, there was an early Belter settlement to these coordinates that died out a century ago. Can you get us there? Let me know. And I'll coordinate with my UNN contact. We'll grab you later to discuss. Strickland's been watching me so closely since the announcement. We have to move fast. Ray. This man worked for whoever made the MK Core. So where's his partner? I wouldn't have made it through that firefight without Maya. She saved me. Hmm. Where's his partner? Where should we go next? His oxygen was so low, I don't think he even knew who he was shooting at. Mm -hmm. I know he just tried to kill you, but... Poor guy. Go down here. Yeah. What else we got? Death records. Bunch of times, I guess. The station's population started out strong, but heavy casualties began occurring after a few years. With no new influxes of settlers and a dwindling population, the group must have known their community was doomed long before the last one died out. No one has an easy existence in the belt, but these people didn't even have the hope that their future generations would build a better life for themselves. It seems to have caused some sort of station-wide mental breakdown. Checking for anything else before I go down there. Black. Oh, the wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie with the goat. And the children will lead them unto salvation. Future traveler, we lay our beloved children before you. If you be healer, heal. If you be miracle worker, work. If you be passer through, pass through and go in peace. What do you mean your children? Oh, little baby coffins? Coffins? Maybe? Oh, well, yeah, it looks like it. Are you still alive? I don't think so. Oh, God. Just preserved. The first ones. They're all children. It's a children's tomb. They buried their children here first. Couldn't bear the thought of recycling them. Oh, look how small they are. Then they couldn't bear the thought of being separated from them either. So here they are. Here they are. So these people stole the core and ran here. And they hid their prize. In a fucking children's tomb. Tomb of the Unburied. This coffin stands in memory of the first children lost to the illness that ravaged our station. Their bodies were tragically recycled before our minds were awakened to our greater purpose. Although they are lost, we hold them in our hearts forever. Oh, so there's one coffin that's empty. That would be the one where they put the secret thing in. Which is on the... Where? That's be the end of the hall, I think. The one that stands in memory. Some of the first children born in the belt 
and this is the fate they suffered. Oof. They were abandoned, but at least they weren't forgotten. Here. What do you think happened? Let's find out. Bullet wound. So they stole the MK core and brought it here. But then our security guard turned on his partner and shot her? Seems right. Guess they stashed it before they had their fight. It's not in here. I commence this diary for the benefit of future histories. I believe we are embarking on biomedical revolution, rivaled only by the advance of synthetic nitrogen and CRISPR. non sibi said omnibus. I know this is the discovery of a millennia, but some of my fellow researchers have lost the plot. All they want to do is scale up the testing. Idiots, we have the potential to eradicate cancer, reverse cellular decay, bolster immunity against all infections must keep our focus the situation has grown tenuous dresden appears to have lost all sense of process and prop prop propriety propriety prop propriety why can i read so good and all of a sudden i can't eh? process of proprietor rumor has it that he is pushing a cognition a cognition of an enhancement modifier um, <laughs> On uh, junior researches as a means of advancement. If he tries that shit on me, he will find an enhancement up his ass. Ask Strickland what he knows about the other teams here. No response. I know we're not the only ones on this project. What research are they hiding? Would they be insane enough to develop it as a weapon? The data are clear. This thing can teach us so much about biology. But it isn't ours to control. Dresden wants to talk about human testing now. What the fuck? I can't even begin to account for the ethical dumpster fire that presents at this, at this stage. Maybe that's why he's busy with his enhancement lobotomies. The lab is being shut down. Resources to be transferred to other projects. For what horrors, I can only imagine. How to respond? My credentials got me into the lab one last time. I took the core. So I saw some of Strickland's new project. Two, dear God, these those people. I bribed the guard, Maddox, to smuggle out the core and get us off Phoebe. My contact at the UNM promises to set me up with a new research team. Somewhere no one can find us. Maddox, Maddox's buddy dropped us off at an abandoned settlement. We were supposed to rendezvous with the UNM Urshanabi days ago. No messages, no response. I think the Urshanabi was in that battle that we saw. It was destroyed. What was I thinking? If the UNN can't handle this, there's nowhere safe. It must be destroyed. Maddox might protest, but I will convince him. He's a simple man, but not impervious to reason. I just need to find a furnace that burns hot enough. Hmm. Looks like this scientist contacted the UNN, and they sent over the Urshanabi. But they weren't able to stop the word from leaking out. Hmm. Confidential, do not duplicate. All individuals handling this information are required to protect it from unauthorized disclosure. Handling storage, da -da -da. designation MK Core. Single cellular testing, abstract. It's clear that the sample is encoded with instructions and that those instructions are unknown, perhaps unknowable. Exposure to human biomass seems to activate it, although exposure to other replication mechanisms have proven effective as well. Most attempts to break down the sample's molecular bonds, exposure to solvents, disinfectants, and freezing temperatures have failed. Exposure, exposure to extreme high heat shown some efficiency or efficacy. Test subject, Belter, unknown. Duration of infection, four to six days, fatal. Human testing. Wait. Experiment 107B, human testing. The sample is highly transmissible and, with proper exposure, maintains a 100% infection rate. A greater amount of biomass is needed in order to further understand the sample's encoded instructions. Experiment 1. Subject was exposed to the sample via cotton swab. Symptoms began within three hours. Subject was moved to exam room 4. Experiment 2. 
Subjects were exposed to the sample via cotton swab, then immediately put through decontamination procedures. Subjects showed no symptoms immediate. Wait, subject, subjects showed no symptoms. Immediate decontamination may be effective in the event of accidental exposure to staff. Experiment 3. Subjects were housed in exam room 4 with subject 1. Transmission began within hours. Subjects complained of disorientation, fever, and vomiting. After four days, chest and stomach pain were the primary symptoms, and subjects showed a pronounced aversion to the station's overhead lighting. Hibernation ensued shortly thereafter. Grabbing something. The MK core isn't a treasure. It's a weapon. What, what kind of weapon? Bioweapon? I don't know. Something alive. And fucking dangerous. I have compiled evidence to show why this substance presents such a novel set of risks. I now truly believe we may be looking at an eschatological event. I thought I could deliver this sample to the right hands and develop an antidote, but I underestimated many things. All that matters is that I destroy the sample and pray the same will be done to the rest of this cursed substance. Hmm. So the MK core is some kind of organism? I don't know. And neither do the scientists studying it. And yet this company is pouring endless amounts of money into it. They're willing to kill to keep it secret, and now they're running human tests. Not humans. Belters. They were disposable. They don't even think of Belters as human. Fucking Inners. She hates They found the a weapon they didn't understand. They brought it out here to play with. That's horrible. No wonder why she hates them so much. It's nothing new. Just like Anderson Station. The Le Guin. Even these people. Left out here to die. Just another chapter in the story. Got something. It's in the empty tomb. Ready? We found it. And now we're going to destroy it. Bushi? I think she would, yeah. Full burn in about a minute. What are you going to tell the others? We have to protect the belt. That the people with the money to buy this are the same people who will use it against the belt. Unless we don't sell it. Hear me out. What? Whatever this is, it could still be everything you need to help the belt. What if we kept it? As a weapon? Or as a bargaining chip? Call it what you want, but no one would mess with the OPA if they knew- The OPA doesn't work that way. It's a hundred factions with a thousand goals. The OPA would tear itself apart over something like this. Why are you so sure of that? You're talking like an inner. I'm talking like someone who knows the OPA. Who knows men like Doss and what they do to stay in power. But the belt may never get a chance like this again. You can't just take that away. You don't get it. You may have bounced around in zero-g for a while, 
but you don't understand the bell. Do you know someone will use it? Of course they will. Hey! What don't I understand? Belters prepare for the worst. Belters don't lie to themselves. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Didn't matter what you say. Belters always look for danger. Broken air filters, leaky reactors, anything that could mean danger. And this. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Is she gonna trust me now? I think she would have gotten mad think if I it. called her a liar. Not like a Martian, but like a Belter. From everything you've seen out here so far. How do you think this really ends for us? You're right. Let's do what we have to do. Huh? Rayan! What are you doing? See, Baratna? Told you we couldn't trust her. Oh, because I didn't get his meds? Hand it over. What the heck? Now. Oh no, if I got his meds, I bet it would have changed everything. Oh, he's got a shaky hand still. Probably. And that? Arlen. Listen to me. It's a death sentence. No, it could hurt the bell and then he won't do it. I'm, I don't know, honey. You pick. That is a dangerous weapon. It's already being used by inners against the bell. That's why I'm gonna sell it to a belter, Sasuke. We're headed back to Ceres now. Damn it, Arlen, you don't understand what you're doing. You always think you know better than everyone else. That's how you always end up here, yeah? I don't know what the fuck your plan is, but you can't just take over the ship and throw Drummer in the brig. No brig. Airlock. What do you mean? I just got to head back to Ceres and- Tinsha! How long is the trip to Ceres? Huh? Two weeks? Three? You want to stay awake the whole time? Until we sell this thing, she'll be trying to take it back. Stubba or Walla. Never knows when she's lost. Oh my god. No, there has to be another way. As long as she's on board, it's still her ship. He likes me. You think Maya and Virgil will take orders from us while she's around? Even the fucking pilot likes her. No. It's the only way to finish this. Take her to the airlock. Trust me. <gasps> he's still, he's on my side. Trust or fight. I think she would trust him, right? Yeah, I, I believe. Because what can you do now? I believe I'll trust him. If you're fine, you're gonna die anyway. Don't let me down. I believe he doesn't want Drummer to be hurt because Drummer saved him and now he's gonna return the favor. On 
sorry, Captain. For real. I wish I could stop Arlen. You can. Encourage him or let him tell him to let me do it. You can. Help me take him down. But Ratna's the only reason I'm alive. The only reason I got off Vesta. <laughs> You're supposed to it's trust him. Worse. I can't let you hurt him, but I won't watch you die either. Be apart from your girlfriend, can you? You son of a bitch! Let me go! What did you do? Sabaka nearly bit my ear off. Would have clawed my eyes out next. Wait, she isn't a part of this. Put it on. We can make it to the station and send a distress signal. Hurry. I'm the one with the bullet in me. You take it. You'll be fine. We both will. I can't. Stop. How? We can't both survive. I won't let you die. We don't have time and I won't let you die. I said I would do anything to help the belt, and nobody can do more for the belt than you. What the heck? Oh, I knew it. She wasn't gonna survive that. <laughs> Come on, up. come on! <laughs> no! Come on! I guess. Yeah, it's, 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 you can get through it. She was trying to go quick, I think. Yeah. Because didn't have a lot of time. Oh, and that's the end of episode three. You lied to me. I was just waiting for a good moment, and I guess had to go all the way. Very cool. Sad ending. I didn't think Maya was gonna make it. But, uh, yeah, now Kamina's got to figure out a way to get back at them, I guess. Yeah. And stop them from so getting that thing in the, in the belt, because Kamina would not let that happen. She's, she's going to find a way to get back and take command of the ship again. I really do wonder, what would, how would that have gone down if we got the meds? The, getting stuff for people does help a lot. Would he have actually still taken over? 
Mm, I don't know. But that's all for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know if you're enjoying the expanse in the comments down below. Hit that like button and share with all your friends. And subscribe if you haven't already, because we would love to have you here. And we make videos all the time. Oh, we gotta check this. 65 cent, drummer spoke to Maya while sleeping together. Ooh. We didn't swear revenge on Maya. Why would you? She's nice. Drummer questioned Maya's commitment to the belt. Oh, but mo almost everybody else said <laughs> she's lucky to have Maya's help. Mm. But I question her. <laughs> Drummer was horrified. <laughs> A oh, little over half people told Maya the belt was prepared for the worst. We trusted Rayan. Mm. Did that... I Oh, that got me a helmet. That's what that did. Yeah. And Maya was spaced. <gasps> but Maya can survive. Wow. I wonder how can Maya survive? Wow. Maya, Maya was spaced with Drummer and died. May have remained on the Artemis. Maybe she's gonna die anyway. I guess if I fought Arlen and Ran. Oh, maybe I should have fought them. Ah. My bad. Maybe you can play again by yourself. Because <laughs> Kamina is a fighter. Let's see what happened. But he said, trust me. Yeah, well, he did. Technically, he did save Drummer, so who knows what happened. What happened. Next episode needs to be downloaded. The next episode is not available yet, but it will be later on the 7th. 